guys, it's me, Seth, on Jeff's Corner, and I'm not even going to explain why I've been gone for the length of time I've been gone. I've just been gone, and I'm back. So, for those who actually remain my loyal fans, I thank you, because I would be turned off by me if I wasn't doing the stuff that I was doing, or the stuff that I am doing, in a consistent way, so that way you guys will be getting more stuff. But... We're here today, and we're going to discuss something audio-wise, and it's going to be parallel processing. The importance of parallel processing and how it could benefit your sessions, tracks, music, whatever it is that you're doing. There's a benefit to parallel processing and why it should be done. We're going to cover that. We're going to basically go over some steps, some small things, not too much, and this could work on any door that you use. Of course, you know my door of choice is Pro Tools. And we're gonna go there, we're gonna dive in, we're gonna dig in, we're gonna we're gonna really get into the nitty-gritty of why power processing is good. And without further ado, let's just get to it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a listen to a track that I did. Uh, I didn't record it, but I did mix it. I had the pleasure of mixing this particular track. And um, video's coming out soon, something that I also had the pleasure of videoing myself. And um, I'm just gonna play you a few bars of this, and then we're gonna get into the depth of parallel processing. So first, let's take a listen. This is America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough, and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save them. Ready to die. Take one of yours if you take one of mine. All right, so you guys got to hear that, right? All right, so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on over here, and um, we're going to focus on really not the music because we're not paralleling that. In a sense, we are, but we're not. Um, we really want to focus on the vocals. And but what can happen to the vocals in your parallel process is the same that can happen to your instruments. So what is paralleling or parallel processing? It's nothing more than in a sense mirroring the take that is already given. So whether it be MIDI or whether it be audio uh, instrument or vocal, you're going to necessarily you're going to be in a sense mirroring that actual take and mirror meaning it's sort of like a duplicate without you having to actually duplicate the take itself a lot of times people would want to duplicate a track uh to actually give it some volume so let's say we take this particular purple one here and we wanted to duplicate the take uh, what we would do, we would duplicate it like that, ping. And let's say we agree to all that stuff for the portal users to understand what that is, right? We would duplicate all this stuff here, right? So now the one that's in, the one on the bottom now is, is what's duplicated. And we would bypass all of this stuff here, right? We would bypass all of that. And then let's say keep this, or actually just, Let's just get rid of it, and boom. And we're going to actually put an actual left compressor on it, and we're going to go with this one, boom. And now what we would do is we would take this uh, compressor and we would slam it, right? We would do something like that. Actually, let's just hear it. This is America. I think uh, I want to look at something closely. Yeah. We would really slam it. This is America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us. Right, we would kind of slam that. And then these two are actually even in the same volume setting, right? So they're actually the same. But we don't want them to be identical in volume. We would want to really, let's say. This is America. We would want the one, we would want this one to have a little bit more punch, more body, body is a better word, and we would bring this up if we felt that this one wasn't powerful enough. We would bring this one up slowly 
to taste. Of course, you would do it with the music, but for this example, I took the music off so you could hear a little bit more. So let's just take a listen. This is America, home of the brave. Owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous. Blacks are endangered, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger. My husband's the main one down on the pavement. Somebody save him. Ready to die. I'll take one of yours if you take one of mine. These are the times. In this case here, it's very minute. I don't hear any difference. I don't think there's any need for me to parallel it in this sense. Of course, when I went up here, you heard something and it sounded a little bit off and a little bit wonky, so we didn't use it. But we don't need to parallel this in this sense. This will be a parallel compression sort of thing. But we don't need that, so we get rid of it. We don't want that. That's a different kind of processing that's happening here. Uh, and in this little template that I have here, I always have the greens, the one in the green, the sends sent to their tracks, right? So all her stuff are right here, and his stuff is right here. And then I have an out bus that is connected to their input. So this input is connected to their output. I said it backwards. So the input or the out bus will be inputted into their input. So I hope I said that right. And you can see it says lower output so or lower out. And that's what I would do. So that actually is not necessarily paralleling it, but in this, I kind of want to say in a sense it is, but I don't want to lead anyone astray. What we will do in a parallel compression, though, the benefit of it is you get more volume for your buck. So this one here is a is the send channel that's to this one here, uh, which you can see right here. And the mouse is pointing right over it. So now this is a parallel process that's different from a parallel compression concept in a sense of if I felt that that particular vocal still lacked volume, I could have added another aux and that would have been the duplicate in itself as it were duplicated when I duplicated the track. I hope I'm making sense. I should have been on camera as I was explaining this stuff, but I'm not. But needless to say, stick with me and I think I will make this make sense. We're going to mute this. You're going to see how much of a difference, or you should see how much of a difference this mute will make this volume drop despite all of these things that I have on here. I have the CL2 at the bottom. I have this SL uh, channel strip at the top. It doesn't really make much of a difference what's in the top or the bottom in the case because they're doing processing directly on it. This process from another avenue is actually bringing up some more stuff, some more beef. So let's just take a listen. I talk so much. This is America, home of the brave. Owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous. Blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough, and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger. My husband's the main one down on the pavement. Somebody save him. So you clearly hear the difference. You could still hear her, but with this bus sent to her particular track, it really drops in volume completely. So let's listen to it again. This is America, home of the brave. Owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous. Blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough, and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger. My husband's the main one down on the pavement. Somebody save him. Now, one of the things that was interesting with this particular track was the music was extremely loud, and I had to kind of really play it to taste so it wouldn't peak, which it was doing. So I did some trimming here on it there, a little bit of trim there. And um, I did a few things that worked, to make a long story short. Um, but let's play it with the track and mute her as the song continues. Actually, let's just take both of these off. And I'm gonna mute this section and see if you hear the difference of 
the processing going away and the effect that it has when it's on. And then hopefully that should make some more sense as why parallel processing has its importance. So here we go. This is America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save a whore. Ready to die, I'll take one of yours if you take one of mine. These are the times, black folks are tired, being denied. We living in fear, our mothers in tears. Our one more time, I think you guys heard it. But you could hear every, all the vocals are being dropped. Uh, I don't even know how many dBs they're being dropped, but they're dropping significantly. And let's just take a listen to what that parallel processing or what's that processing doing, period. Whether you want to call it parallel processing, whether you want to just call it regular aux to uh, uh, sands or buses, whatever, this process is actually making a difference in how your mix is going to sound. So one more time. This is America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough and we show our anger. My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save them. Ready to die, take one of yours if you take one of mine. These are the times, black folks are tired. All right, so I think you guys kind of get it. In this case here, she still sounds, I mean, I have my headphones cranked, but she still sits above the track look more the way that I would want. But that's a thing that will come into, you know, really, you know, doing a lot more tweaking and things of that nature. So you should see how important this could be. If I felt that she sat too above, I could always pull this down if I thought that would work. I could always bring this down a little bit more, which I won't do. I could do something up here. I could bring that down if I thought that was too much. I mean, I have options, but this by itself, these by itself wouldn't be enough. And for the mix that I'm trying to do, or my style of mixing per se, I'm an old head, I'm an old school head, and I kinda like where it sounds glued. I like my tracks to sound somewhat glued, of course with some space, but I like everything to kinda still sound glued pretty much. Uh, but it sounds, it's we're getting closer to what I would like. And if I were to just not have any of this on at all, because this particular track here controls all of her tracks. I could have done another one for hooks. I could have done another one for other parts, but that would have been taking up a little bit more um, CPU power than I don't need to waste. I mean, this machine could take it, but why waste it? So they control all of her takes. Um, and as you could see, it drops significantly. No matter what I have on here, I could always crank this up, but then that would kind of defeat the purpose of what that particular compressor is supposed to do. So it's not a matter of turning it up or 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 squashing or or depending what it is that you want. It's not always about can all the effects sent inside the insert will it do what this processing on the side will do. And no, it's not going to work. I mean, you could clearly hear the difference. Let's mute this again. Take that off. You could clearly hear the difference when it's muted versus when it's on. Right ahead of them. Right ahead of them. I said off and it still plays. So there you go. Here we go. Right ahead this of them. America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save them. Ready to die, I'll take one of yours if you take one of mine. These are the times, black folks are tired. Even though I didn't have this all the way up, I mean, 
again, just for the context of this whole entire tutorial, you hear the difference. Don't want to bore you, but just one more time so you can clearly hear it. This is America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger, choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough, and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save them. Now, if I was to mute this, you shouldn't hear anything because this out is controlling all of these here. So, right ahead this of is them. America, right ahead of them. home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us. Well, you will hear it. I forgot why you were, were hearing. Oh, because it's going through the sub. That's why. So it still makes a difference, even though this is not so much of a parallel process, but it sort of is. This here also controls how we hear her vocals or the takes in reference to the music. So again, let's turn it on and let's hear the difference. Right ahead of them. America, home of the brave, owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger, choked the strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save them. Ready? Both off, let's take that off and let's take that off. And let's see what we hear. Right ahead of them. It's getting outrageous, blacks are in danger. How much can we handle enough? My sons are in danger, my husband's the main one. So, I think you guys get it. This process, haha, is very effective because it helps us hear things without cranking volumes up. We don't have to we don't have to turn the fader all the way up. We don't have to do that. And I know sometimes people, for lack of hearing, will do just that. They will compensate, and for what they can't hear, they'll turn up. What you need to do is have your system, depending on what system you have, headphones or some decent speakers, is learn busing and the processing and play with them. When you're recording, it's not so much as important as the mix later on. You really want to be able to hear the take without cranking it up. If you feel that you really need to crank it up, just turn up your interface, your unit, your volume on the device as opposed to turning up the take directly. You want it to sit in a place where it's sweet, nice, and yummy, and all that good stuff, and that should definitely make a difference because when we hear music, we don't hear people screaming in our ears. We really hear smoothness. Um, we hear subtleties. We hear all kinds of things. But what we don't hear is somebody bleeding our ears out. So, and for the one last thing, if I really wanted to do a parallel compression, so to speak, of a vocal, I would do something like this, right? Uh, again, all, all, what you would call it? I can't think today. All, um, all doors do this to some degree. Um, this is just one of them that does it. We're gonna go here. Uh, I think that that works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make we made a mono aux, and that mono aux is going to be bust to her take and mink and we're going to pre delay it that pre delay or that pre is going to be what happens first before any of these meaning it's the first leading effect no matter what chain you have it last first second third it's going to be first. It's the thing that you're going to hear more of than you were to hear anything else. And for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to just take another compressor, something like this, something really simple. No, actually, I don't want that one. We're going to take something as basic as this any day now, any day now. There we go. And 
Let's do something like that. Nothing crazy. And we're going to mute this. This is America. God damn it. Didn't I just say so? This is America. Home of the brave. Owners and slaves, they hold us in cages. It's getting outrageous. Blacks are in danger. Choked and strangled, beaten and mangled. How much can we handle? Enough is enough and we showing our anger. My sons are in danger. My husband's the main one. Down on the pavement, somebody save him. Now, again, you hear more of a difference, right? You hear more of what we could already hear. I mean, on a good system, you should be able to hear everything that I'm doing, these small little dumb changes. And if you felt like you needed to dial back, you could pull this down more. So that way it has more of a sweet, smooth, subtle spot. And it will make, it's just like the duplication. We're doing the same exact thing. Not so much squashing, but sort of doing the same thing. If I really wanted to push this, I could use another uh, compressor that will do the, the, the job, play, with, play around with them, see what works for you. It's just all about experimenting and trying things to see what works best. But for the most part, this is definitely doing what the duplication would do, but we're not duplicating the actual track. And this is definitely a good definition of what a parallel process is. It's a duplication of a take without necessarily duplicating it. And that's what pretty much all of these are doing. We're paralleling it to the actual take. And I'm using the word parallel because it's, it's it's really what is in line with that particular take. We're not duplicating it. I, I'm saying this like a million times. We're not duplicating it, but we're trying to actually have some of that effect be processed without having to do, let's say, sometimes people may not understand how delays work. So they'll want something to be delayed, a particular word, and what they'll do is they'll take the take, the small piece, for instance, let's, they'll take something like this and duplicate that into a new track, right? And then have the echo or delay whatever happen on that end. And, and that could work, but we don't want to necessarily take up room that we don't need to take up. And the process of the delay that's already there, right? It's already there. All you would need to do is just write or automate that particular delay to do something if you felt that it wasn't doing it where you wanted it to do it more. So that's all that is. So this delay is paralleling the its effect to the take, right? And same thing for this, same thing for this. And we hear the difference when we mute it or we take it off. So I think that makes sense. Please tell me if I'm not making sense. Say, Zeb, you made no sense whatsoever. Please explain again. And I'll have no problem doing that. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So, if you guys like what I have to give you here today on Zeb's Corner, and of course, by all means, hit the like and subscribe. I'll be giving you more stuff. I won't be giving you a time as to when I'm going to be doing so, but I will promise to give you more stuff when time permits for me to give you more stuff. I get caught up in things, and sometimes I just don't have the wherewithal to really just give you what I think I should give you or it's something you need. There's so many things to cover, there's so much going on and I don't even know where to begin, but for the most part, enough said, hit the like and subscribe and I will be back um, when I will be back. <laughs>